Hey guys, welcome back. It's Gabby. So the month of October is coming to an end and that means another monthly book haul and an another monthly wrap-up video. I'm really sad that the month of October is coming to an end because I love Halloween, but fall is my favorite season and so I'm really excited for November to come. I live in Texas and it's still about 80 degrees outside and we're still now starting to get some weather in the 60s and high 50s so I'm excited to get some cooler weather so I can just curl up on the couch and just read. So for the month of October I have four books to haul and I have five books with two graphic novels to wrap up. The first book I got in November is Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer. This is bonus content to the 10th anniversary of the Twilight book. Now this is pretty much Twilight but all of the genders have been switched. Stephanie was trying to show that Bella wasn't necessarily a damsel in distress, she was a human in distress, so she switched uh, genders and Bella ends up being a boy named Bo and Edward ends up being a girl vampire named Edith. I'm not going to go too much into it because I do plan on making a review on this book. I really did enjoy it. It really is pretty much Twilight just gender reversed with a, a twist at the end so don't go into this thinking that it's a whole new book because it's not. It's just extra bonus content. What is awesome is that you flip it over and then it's the Twilight book. I gave Life and Death a 4 out of 5 stars. There were just a few things that I was iffy about, which is why I didn't give it a 5 out of 5 star, but I'll go into that when I make my review. The next book I got in the month of October is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children's by Ransom Riggs. I really enjoyed this book. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. This is about a young boy named Jacob and his grandfather dies and his grandfather gives him a clue to go to an island where his grandfather grew up and find Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children. I don't want to go too far into it because it kind of spoils it. It's better to go into it blind. What I love about this book is all the different creepy pictures that we get throughout the book. It made the book a lot more engaging. The next book I got is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is Rainbow Rowell's first fantasy novel, I believe, and it is a spin-off from Fangirl. From what I understand, you didn't have to have read Fangirl to have read this one. I haven't read this book yet. And Fangirl, the main character is obsessed with Simon Snow, which is their version of Harry Potter, and this is the story of Simon Snow. So I'm really excited to get to it. I hear a lot of really good things about it and hopefully I can get to this one really soon because I'm super excited. And the last book that I got in October is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the illustrated edition. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm so excited to read this book. I haven't read this book yet. I'm saving it for December for reread Harry Potter, but oh my gosh, it's just be fantastic and beautiful and the pictures inside are just gorgeous. Originally I thought it was just going to be pictures and like snippets of the story until I got home and I realized that it's the entire book. So I'm so, so excited to reread this book my new Kindle and I'm super excited about it. I got the Kindle Paperwhite. Yes. It's amazing. So the next two books and two graphic novels that I read, I read during Dewey's 24-hour readathon and that is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I'm really happy that I finally, finally got to read Frankenstein. It's been on my list for just so long and I just kept putting it off. I was afraid that it was going to kind of creep me out a little bit just because I'm kind of a pansy when it comes to anything scary, but it it didn't actually. I really, really enjoyed it. It wasn't too gory. It wasn't very graphic. I gave it a three out of five stars. The next book that I also finished in October is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. I love this book. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I do plan on making a review on this book, but it's about a young 16-year-old girl named Selena, and she is an assassin, and she gets 